Good morning. It is Nikki, the coordinator from Hospitality Table Cornwall. It is 4 a.m. Um, the only time I'm ever up this early is if I'm going to go on holiday. We're not going on holiday. We're going to work. <laughs> Today's video is a day in the life of a fisherman. We want to explore the primary sector, see where all of our local produce comes from. So we're going to work. Um, we are going to work with a local fisherman. This happens to be my dad. Hello, my name's Gary, Gary Thomas. Uh, and I'm a commercial line fisherman. I've been for about the last 10 years or so. I used to be in the fire service. When I retired 10 years ago, I decided to live the dream and turn my passion into a business. Well, as you can see, sunrise over there, it's about 6am, probably an hour later than I would normally be here. This is where we try and catch the bait for the day's fishing. And you need to catch, or I need to catch a small fish to catch a big fish. And the fish that we're after here are called lance and they're, they're big sand eels, great big sand eels, which you get this time of the year in the spring and the early summer. That's a lance. They're great big sand eels. So we catch those for bait to try and catch out our bass, which is what we're after today. The fishing's really hard at the moment. There's not many fish around, so you don't need that many. Mm. But when the fishing's better, I like to get sort of 30 or 40. So uh, today I've brought Nikki out, who happens to be my daughter doing <laughs> these videos. Um, the aim was to try and catch some bass, that's what I specialise in, line caught bass. But unfortunately they didn't want to play too much today, so we ended up finding a little bit of rough ground and fishing for some pollock. So that's, that's a little pollock, but unfortunately that one's not quite big enough for what we want today. So we'll put this one back, which is what we can do when we fish with lines. With this one I go back to get a bit bigger. So I operate mainly out of Falmouth. Um, as you can see my boat, Nicky Lou, named after my two daughters, is a trailer boat so I can trailer it anywhere I want. It's just about manageable single handed. So I operate out of Falmouth um, and Hale, sometimes Penzance. So depending on the weather conditions, I can normally pick one coast or another to find some fair weather. Or of course where the fishing happens to be better. Um, it just happens that today wasn't the best day for the fish. But it goes like that. That fish weighs about one and a half kilograms. So on the market, a fisherman like me would get about three pounds for that. So now I put that on, on ice, it goes into ice, so it stays lovely and fresh. This year has been <clears throat> particularly bad, primarily due to COVID-19. Because I specialise in quality fish, which is bass, they generally end up in restaurants, high-end restaurants and hotels. Obviously, for the last three or four months, none of which have been open. So this year has affected me particularly badly. Um, luckily, I've, I've got one private fishmonger who does buy my fish from me, um, but as, as a single sole trader, he can't shift a huge quantity of fish on his own. <clears throat> so this year I've been limited to one or two days fishing a week, um, purely because the market hasn't been there. I expect that to get better over coming weeks as the government's just started to relax some of the regulations with regards to restaurants. So, I'm hoping that they'll come back online. 
and there'll be a demand for my line called bass again. So bassing, bassing wasn't great today. So uh, in order to get some footage, we decided to come and catch some pollock. So there's quite a few of these around. So hopefully, I might be able to make half a day's pay today. <laughs> I think it's only a little one. This is so hard because I'm left-handed. Yeah. I think it's gone now, Nick. Yeah, I think it has. <laughs> <laughs> no, it hasn't. Oh no, a little one on there. Good grief. Should have left it on for bait. Oh. Oh well. Talk about the boat itself that I operate with. Um, she's a 20 foot commercial warrior boat. Uh, it's a single handed boat. Um, I, I rarely take anybody out with me. I like to do my own thing in my own style. So the, the type of equipment that I've got on board and what I use is obviously the, the rods, different rods for different jobs. Um, I've got my electronics up here which are my eyes, my underwater eyes. I've got fish finders on there, um, uh, chart plotters which tell me exactly where I am <clears throat> so I can revisit exactly the same spots time and time again should I find a, a nice little hot spot. I carry with me fish boxes, ice bins. I've always got ice on board the boat because um, whatever I catch, as I said previously, goes immediately into ice. So I run the boat on, a, on, a, on an outboard engine because um, it may not be the most economical way of doing things, but it's the fastest because I need to get to the fishing grounds as soon as I possibly can, some of which can be 20 miles offshore. But with an outboard engine on this type of boat, I, I can do that 20 miles in just under an hour. So I can, I can be on the fishing grounds and working way before some of the, the larger, slower boats even get there. So that's the, the type of style that, that I've adapted. Okay, so talking about, again, about my particular boat, um, the outlay for, an, for, a, for a setup like this, somewhere in the region of 25 to 30,000 pounds. And then on top of that, um, you need a license to be able to fish. Not everybody can just go out and start catching fish and sell them. Um, you need a seller's license, you need a license to allow the boat to actually sell fish, um, of which for this boat works out to around about £10,000. Um, I have a bass entitlement for this boat, which basically means that I am allowed to target and catch bass. Um, if you don't have that bass entitlement, you're not allowed to, to catch or target bass at all. Um, a, a good day, a good day on the bass, maybe 50 kilograms of bass. Uh, and on a good year, that would, that would probably sell, for, for me anyway, sell for between 10 and 12 pounds a kilo. So that would, that would represent a really good day's fishing. Um, the cost of running the boat on a day like that, somewhere in the region of 60 to 70 pounds perhaps for a day's work. Um, a bad day is, well, catching nothing. And that does happen. With regards to weekends and things like that, there's, there's no, no weekends for, for a fisherman. They fish when they can fish. And they take their time off when the fishing allows them to do so. But because I'm a line fisherman, which basically I choose to use a rod and a line, single line, single hook, so I can be very selective on the type of fish that I catch. So as far as sustainability is concerned, it doesn't get any better. If I catch something that I don't want or is undersized, I simply unhook it, let it swim away. This fish lives for another day when it's big enough to actually produce some meals. So this type of fishing enables this fish to go again. The fish that I do want, um, once I get them into the boat, they go into slush ice immediately, so they remain absolutely fresh. Then from here they're transported, usually on the way home, to either a fishmonger or to a, to, um, a restaurant or to a market itself. Um, so it's literally it's one day fish. 
can't get can't get any fresher. So I, I do pride myself in the fact that my fish ends up as fresh and is in good condition as it can possibly be. fourth of July, exactly one month after filming this fishing video. I firstly want to say a huge thank you to my dad for taking me out to film this video and also show me where the fresh local produce comes from. I think it's so important that if we ever have fish put in front of us on a table, we know where it's come from and that it's sustainable. I am happy to say that since filming this video, hospitality businesses have been slowly starting to open up again, meaning that there is also a demand for our fresh local produce. So dad is out fishing today for bass um, and he has had a good couple of days as well. I'm really happy to see that the industry is starting to pick up again and we are slowly getting back to what may be the new normal. I hope this has been beneficial for you to see the day in the life of a fisherman and what goes on from very early hours of the morning.